Megabunus has adapted her reproduction to the harsh climate and so sacrificed the genetic variation that could have come with sex. But other plant eaters in gentler climates use the same technique to take advantage of the glut of food that comes with spring. Aphids also clone their offspring, and what is more, a female produces her young alive. And she can do so 10 times a day or more. Not only that, each of her offspring will start producing young of their own within days. If the descendants of a single female all survived, they would, by the end of summer, number 600 billion. All of them identical clones. But as the winter approaches, the aphids change their way of reproducing. They lay eggs. Aphids cannot survive the cold of the winter, but the eggs are hardy and will hatch next spring. And then, once again, the aphid population will explode. The million or so species of arthropod on our planet have matched the way they reproduce to suit the particular environment in which they live. Most of them lay eggs, and some do so in scarcely believable numbers. One such lives on a hedgehog. Ixodes is a tick, a parasite. The female is so well adapted to life on a hedgehog that she rarely lives anywhere else. She has a limitless supply of food immediately beside her, blood. She stays on the hedgehog until she's ready to lay her eggs. Then she lets go, falls to the ground, and starts to deposit her eggs in the undergrowth. The eggs make up 50% of her entire body weight. She can lay around 1,500 of them, and it takes her up to 20 days to lay them all. Producing so many is her way of ensuring that at least one or two of her young will find their own hedgehog host. For those that do, the cycle can begin again. By the time Ixodes has produced them all, her once plump body is deflated and she dies. 